on our adventure you would know that we started on the inland northern highway up in a town called Kew and we have made our way across as many dirt roads as possible through Murchison uh, past Murchison station and we have ended up in the magnificent town of Cowberry. now I've never been here before uh, I don't think Brad's been here before the wife has been here many many years ago I'm not sure about Gary he may have been here before but uh, we're going to explore this town and see what it has to offer um, won't be a lot of four-wheel driving around here. We may try and get off the road and because uh, we do have to find somewhere to camp and you can't actually camp in the town of Cowberry. So uh, we do have to head out of town a little bit to find somewhere to camp. So uh, we're going to go and find somewhere now and uh, we will see you after camp. Okay, so we went through Cowberry and it is that jam-packed full of people. There is no way known where we're going to find anywhere to stay. I'll just turn that aircon off because that's probably a bit loud. There's nowhere known where we're going to find anywhere to stay in Cowberry itself so we dropped into some of Carissa's got some friends up there and uh, we dropped into them and got some advice and they gave us some great advice so thank you very much and we find ourselves at Lucky Bay so uh, and according to the person at the pay station it's not full so we have paid our fees and we're heading down now onto the beach at Lucky Bay and we're going to find a decent camping spot along the beach for the next couple of nights that will be our base and we'll head back into Cowberry in the morning and do some exploring so in the meantime, let's hit the beach. Okay, so I reckon we've found camp. We asked them if they still had room. Oh my God, look at this place. There's always gonna be room, so. Look, you've got caravans down near the beach. Beach is right there, so. We're gonna set up camp just there, and this is our home for the next two days. I can't stay, I need to say what's on my mind.
time to serve dinner. Now, two hours ago, I put this roast in the travel buddy. A slow cooked roast beef, onion, and gravy from Woolies. And there we go. Well, that is bloody hot. And it smells awesome, doesn't it? Smell. It does. It smells amazing. <laughs> you smell? Ah, it smells amazing. Okay. Around hill. Yeah. This is the tricky part. I'm trying to open it without burning. It doesn't have a peel here sticker on it. So we will cut here. Probably did have a peel here thing on it, but I didn't see it. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> Get any closer with the camera, camera woman? All right, hang on, just to see how easy it just falls apart. Look at that. Oh, look at that. All right, serve this up. I'm not sure there'll even be enough of this left for lunch tomorrow. This, this is all going tonight. This is just falling apart. Actually, it's not that big. Look at that. Just enough to... And here is the gravy. Look at that. And to top it off, IGA pasta salad because somebody was going to make some pasta salad, weren't they? Weren't they? You're not, <laughs> <laughs> You're not responding. No. no, no, you weren't. I don't want to be in your video. <laughs> going to tuck into this. Probably see you in the morning. Welcome to a beautiful morning at Lucky Bay. What a what a place to wake up to. A little bit windy last night, and there was a bit of a uh, lightning storm off the coast, and a few sprinkles of rain. But uh, apart from that, it wasn't a bad night, and it's always nice to hear the ocean in the background. And as you can see, the sun's just starting to come up now. Versus going in for a bit of a morning dip in the ocean. The fishermen are out.
and the place is starting to stir. Now this place was absolutely jam-packed yesterday, right up there in the distance. There's probably about 30 cars all camped up there. And this beach was absolutely rammed with people fishing, driving, biking, off-road vehicles, all sorts of stuff. The beach itself is as hard as anything. Once you get into the dunes, it's very soft. But uh, yeah, what an awesome place. And uh, no doubt it will fill up again today. So today's plan, as the sun comes up over the hill behind me, um, basically we're going to go into Cow Barry. We're going to have a nice cooked breakfast. Gary's shouting his breakfast this morning, which is uh, a nice change. Not for Gary, uh, the breakfast. <laughs> but, uh, and then we're going to do all the uh, scenic stuff in Cow Barry itself and show you around there. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, we will talk to you soon. Just going to head out and uh, look at some of the sites around Cow Barry itself. We're going to head out and have a look at nature's window. Probably won't do the skywalk because uh, last I heard it was a little bit expensive and for four of us to pay that sort of kind of money to walk out and have a look at the gorge. I think we'll give that one a miss. But there's plenty of other things to have a look at around the place. And uh, is that where we're turning around? There's plenty of other things to have a look at around Cow Barry. So, uh, See the three trailers you're down with a wide turn like that. Yeah, I know. I was too busy talking to the camera and I completely almost missed the turn. So, yeah, please. You missed the turn. You nearly just watched the um, tourists walking across the road, too. Yeah, well, he couldn't make up his mind whether he wanted to go or didn't want to go, so I thought bugger him. He'd be like a kangaroo. If he can't make up his mind, run him over anyway. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, there's plenty of other things to look at around Cow Barry. So uh, we will start up here and uh, make our way back towards camp and have a look at all the things that are along the coast along there. So uh, we will see you at the Skywalk. No, we won't. We will see you at Nature's Window. There you go. All right. Okay, so we're just at the entry to the uh, National Park where the Z Bend, Nature's Window and Skywalk are. And that's $15 entry fee, but we have a parks pass. So it won't cost us anything to get in because we've already paid. So it always pays to get one of those park passes. You can get into these places. So uh, we will head up that way and check it out. Okay, so here we are at the start of Nature's Window. This is the walk down towards it. I don't know how long is it. How far have we got to go? 500 metres. So there we go. So you're going to be right with that, Gary? No, no, I don't know. I didn't think so. so but check out the view from here. So 
Not a bad view at all. All right, we shall uh, start this walk. Not a bad view from here, eh? Look at that. Beautiful. Gary's done all year. Right. He's a regular mountain goat. Look at him. Oh, he's, he's come fully equipped. I'd like to say there's no flies on Gary's back, but there's about a million of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit of a worry we don't have to air down. <laughs> and here we go. The walk is over. It's not even a round window. It's like a <laughs> <laughs> Rectangle and a square window. What window are we looking for today, Ted? A mounted one. So there you go, nature's window. We just stick our head through it. Look at that. It's a bit windy. Yeah. <laughs> So I just been and check out the uh, Skywalk and apparently it's free. There's some animals around here too, look. Free time one. Free time. Look. Yeah, no, it's nice you can even pat it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> me out at me. <laughs> Rip your throat out when the sun goes down. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually free. So whoever told us it was $72, it's fibbing, weren't they Gary? <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> 72 steps, not 72 steps. 72 dollars. steps. <laughs> Here we go, some more wild animals. Watch out for these. They'll chase you. Something tells me Gary said it was $72 just because he didn't want to walk all this way. <laughs> not 500 metres like the last one. <laughs> So, this is the infamous Skywalk. Hey Gaz, said something about a prehistoric landscape. Can you tell me was accurate or not? There we go. You were here at that time. There's, there's, there's part of the prehistoric landscape. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much as I remember it. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a bit funny already. <laughs> oh, don't make me go this wide. <laughs> Come on, like I don't do heights to eight. That's, 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 that's bouncing now. Oh dear. This is <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 
The mighty Murchison River. You're full of cheery thoughts, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you control the water? What did she say? Imagine if this just fell off. Imagine if this just fell off. Yeah, okay. No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> so yes, that's a that's a fair way down. Good view. Oh, awesome view. This is the second platform. You can see the other one over there. And we were all the way over there. That's where nature's window is. Look at that view. Tell you what, it's a bit scary. <laughs> it's a bit iffy walking on that crate. I'll walk on the walk on this crate. Did you? Oh. Yes, sir. Bit, is that an ad for Blue Scope or should we get off? No, <laughs> no one's getting off up here. <laughs> a little bit of a rapid down there. Look at it, it's roaring. <laughs> And there we go, what a fantastic view. Here's another scary critter. So there you go, apart from your $15 entry fee to the park or your National Parks Pass, it's all free. So there you go, come and enjoy it. It's, uh, it's worth a walk out. It's a bit daunting walking out on that, looking through the uh, floor. but. Uh, Apart from that, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, onwards we shall go. Okay, well that's uh, nature's window and the skywalk done and dusted. And yeah, somebody told us it would cost money to go on that skywalk, but it doesn't, it's free. So, pays to do both if you're out this way. We were going to completely miss it because we didn't want to pay 70 odd bucks to go for a walk on it. But it's free, so why not? Anyway, Brad spotted a track on the map just uh, in town and off to the right down near the river. So we're going to go and check that out, see if it's any good, and then we'll have a look at some of the attractions out on the other side of town. We shall uh, see what we come up with. Okay, so interesting little area here. We're just going to drop our tyres down. We just came down through there. That's a hell of a water crossing. <laughs> but no, the track actually goes up through there by the looks of it. So we're just going to air down here and uh, I might just drop some fuel in the car as well and uh, then we'll be on our way. Okay, so we just did the loop track which is uh, pretty much at the end of the road where this caravan park is. Uh, can't remember the name of it but as you go through town towards the end hit the river turn right there's caravan park follow that road it turns into a dirt road and uh, there's a loop track at the end of that that goes right the way around. Um, not overly exciting, it's a little bit of fun, a bit of sand, a few rocks and stuff, but nothing worthwhile filming, so we just had a bit of fun there, and uh, now we're just going to air up and uh, head over the other side of town and look at a few things, so uh, we'll whack some air in the tyres and uh, get on our way.
So that last one was known as Natural Bridge. Um, hopefully I got a good enough shot with it with the uh, GoPro. There's quite a few people on that um, lookout, so it's a bit hard to get a good spot. But uh, Okay, now we're going to head back to camp and uh, we might even find a few sand dunes to play on before we uh, sit back and relax for our last night on this journey. That's a fail. Alright guys, we've now rocked up back at camp and set up the awnings and everything and we are just going to relax now for our last afternoon on this trip and evening. Um, have some dinner when it goes down. A little bit windy but it's not too bad. Uh, what an awesome spot. Just be able to leave your swags out here in the dunes, go for off for a day, come back, everything's the way you left it. Put the awning back up and camp's all set back up again. It's uh, it's a great place. I'd recommend it to anybody. I uh, don't know if I've said before, $15 a night per car and you can literally camp wherever you want, in the beach, in the dunes, halfway in between. There's a campsite up there with some toilets. There's lots of caravans and stuff up there. So uh, yeah, it's an awesome spot and we have thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, we'll probably come back here at some point because uh, yeah, it'd be worthwhile exploring this area a little bit more. So. Uh, Anyway, we're going to have a few drinks and uh, maybe cook up some dinner and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning.
us to tell our stories of battles and glories, the ones that do fight. Well, guys, sadly, that ends this amazing adventure, and what an adventure it has been. Five days ago, we started up the Great Northern Highway and we hit Q and we got onto dirt, and I think we've done about somewhere around maybe. 1200 kilometers since then and we've still got about 600 to go to get home so it'll be somewhere around 1800 to 2000 kilometers we've done on this journey and if you've only watched this episode and don't know what i'm talking about go back and have a look where it all started at uh, big bell and walga rock it has been an amazing adventure but uh, sadly this one ends here and we are going to head back home so thank you guys for watching thank you so much for your support of the channel uh, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already done so and you like our content and hopefully we will see you on our next adventure. Cheers, guys.